Welcome back to the Good Morning Niger Show. Now it's time for us to look at a very important conversation. We have Dr. Richard C. Okoye joining us, and his organization, Save a Life Foundation, is focused on trying to increase life expectancy from 55 years to 75 years by 2025. How exactly do they intend to do that? We'll find out in a moment. Good morning, doctor. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Good Morning Ninja Show. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure to have uh, uh, people like yourself come and talk about things that really uh, you know, um, relate to the, to the general public, relate to the Nigerian people. So we said we should talk about this today, and uh, it's good to have you as the person doing this for us. All right, so we always use uh, this, this medium to ask our guests uh, that, uh, okay, we know there's a pandemic, a lot of things have changed, uh, the expectations of life has shifted in a way. So I want to know, honestly, how are you in this pandemic? How are you coping, sir? Yeah. We are actually coping nicely. Hmm. And uh, we want to, we have to be grateful to God for containing this very uh, contrary hmm. but a group, you know, and uh, appreciation the presidential council to the Ministry of NCDC, they are relentless. So everyone wants effort, and today they are going away from this. So the, the good thing is that I always ask, do you think we're ever going to get back to the way things were before, or from now on, this, is the, this will be the new normal for us? No, definitely there will be a relative adjustment. Mm -hmm. You know, adjustment in that we be able to bring our attention and the consciousness where the value of health is mm -hmm. giving priority. Yes. All the work of attention has been the issue of you get kids, you get that private jet, and it's a little attention when it has to do with it. So, but today, we will be uh, informed by the people of the family that we matter most health. Mm. If you have money, you lose something. But when you lose money, you lose something. You lose your health, you lose it. Yeah. Everybody about yeah. the private part the businesses not for something that we hope. So it is a, a change that should come up when it has to do with it. Okay. Interesting. Let's talk about life expectancy, which is something that your organization is very passionate about. As of 2018, 2019, the stats show that the life expectancy in Nigeria is 54 years, and the organization is focused on increasing that by 2025. Let's talk about COVID-19. What do you think COVID-19 will be the impact, you know, of COVID-19 so far? And why is the organization very particular about extending life ex uh, life expectancy? Interesting. Uh, we must have to first of all establish the fact that before the uh, onset of COVID 19, Nigerian life expectancy has been very deplorable states. I have to say that because years is on us in such a manner that even Nigeria countries like Agnes do expectancy is vital. You know, what more do you do about the engagement it is in the life expectancy of life years to 70, 75? From the meeting in Los Angeles last year, you know, right here, of all the countries, it was analyzed. Especially a number of up to 89 years, 84, Africa, usually uh, South Africa, Africa sub-region, to have very fancy of Nigeria, alone uh, 50, 52 Africa. So that was I came back with, we were able to identify those actually responsible the COVID 
Let's stop the thing for that. Already existing fighting possible for the quick we go along with Maji by so now, sir, if we want to uh, do a quick um, um, review on these factors that you take to account, there are some specific factors that even before COVID have been, you know, affecting this um, lifetime situation. What can you, can you highlight a few of these factors for us right now so that we can know that, okay, well, these are the, one of the things that are causing this situation to be where it is now? Interesting. The, the fundamental thing we need to understand is that if you I came in to look, look critically at the of Africa, because the problem is a problem of the... Mm -hmm. But only realize Africa is in the neighborhood of Tunisia, Ibo, Algeria, yeah. and life is in 75 and above. Okay. Or, uh, this act says on the African region, where uh, Nigeria is going to be. The key tonight is covered in West Africa, that is, they are all colonized. And we form a slave mentality. Ideally, a slave is held. He only cares So if he gives, he goes irrespective of the so that is how we form whereby it's more given to her that get anything we want to when when it comes to giving the list of now I would even as you are sitting and anybody hearing me it, it is an issue of us that money you can Buy this, you buy when it comes to your health. You either when you are spending for your or you are paying for the hospital to spend it to you because it is of the quality. It's something that you want to spend money for. Mm. Now, when I came back, I at Nigeria, but if you, you know the presidential aspect. Elizabeth Warren of Elizabeth a critical statement almost becoming a nominee. She will give America free health care for Medicare for all. Mm -hmm. that she made us cut her down. And what will cost America two trillion in 10 years. Hmm. And they divide it in 10 so we have 5.2 dollars. That slave, if you share money across a stamp of money, we have about 10 300 dollars. First, in our own era, the analysis was 6 point. Interesting. Yes, uh, before we went on that uh, quick break, we were talking about the factors that uh, you, you, uh, you, you mentioned a couple of uh, factors that affect uh, the life expectancy of people in uh, Western Africa and how uh, in Northern Africa it's quite different. So uh, can you continue with that so that we can have a, a clearer conversation on that one? Sorry for the, uh, the gap in communication. Yes, sir. No yeah, um, we actually have the very vision of Moving Nigeria has life expectancy from the ugly 55 years it is currently mm -hmm. to 70 years by the year 2025. Yes. It sounds like a very impossible project, but I can tell you how possible this could be. I had a, a meeting in Los Angeles last year, July. We got the uh, life expectancy of all the countries in the world analyzed. Okay. And interestingly, some countries today are already hitting 89, 84, 87, as the case may be. Whereas Nigeria, West Africa, uh, West African countries, all the dead among world countries like Afghanistan, like Sierra Leone, Chad, 52, Nigeria, uh, 55 years. 
You know, when I was initially worried over there thinking it's an African problem, I look at the map of Africa and I discovered that uh, North African countries, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, um, and uh, all the rest, they are already reaching 73 years and about 75 years life expectancy. Uh -huh. So I can to narrow it down. What could have been responsible for our own this side of the world having such a misery? And what you need in I observe is that this West African South region, most of them are all colonized. Mm -hmm. And by the reason of that colony, we started our government with the mentality of a slave. And a slave does not care for his health, he only cares for his stomach. So that's why priority is not being given when it has to do with it. Look at our health budget in the past 20 years. The maximum we have given to health, uh, the, the Ministry of Health is 5.95% uh, in 2012. Average is as 4% there about. Now, I look at this very issue, taking a lead from what happened in um, in U.S., a woman called Elizabeth Warren, you know very well, the Democratic aspirant, uh, presidential aspirant, she was almost becoming a nominee by reason of her performance in the debate. Mm -hmm. Only for her to project and say that she is going to offer America free health care, that is Medicare for all. Yeah. yeah. As soon as that was said, this sat down on that table and said, what they are talking is impossible in America. That it will cost America 52 trillion US dollars in 10 years. Taking it down to per year, you will get around 5.2 trillion US dollars. Now, think about sharing that money across American citizens. You will have per person in America, we have about 17,300 dollars, which is about 6.2 million naira as a point of basis analysis. Mm -hmm. Now, that is America budget 6.2 million per year for each citizen of America. Yeah. So, when I came back, I took time to study Nigerian health budget for 20 years, starting from the year 2000. And I discovered something quite ugly, I will tell you. In the past 20 years, Nigeria has done a total budget to the Ministry of Health, implementation of withstanding, has done a total of 3 trillion, 687 billion, 392 million, 111,676 naira for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Bring that money down to a year, you yeah. will have about 184 billion per year. Okay. Can we divide that money across our population today? You will have about 922 naira per, year, per citizen. That yeah. is to say that what Nigeria is budgeting per citizen of Nigeria per year is 922 naira, which is not up to anti-malaria drug. Wow. So that is the mystery we have been able to find ourselves in it. So not, that is number one. Priority mm -hmm. is not given. So the health When it has to do with health, mm -hmm. because even you in the studio or anybody hearing me right now, you can discover there is an intrinsic problem we have. When you have money, you can borrow money to buy a car, buy land, buy this, buy that. When it comes to your health, you either pay, if you have to spend money, it will be paying you. Is it not the money I would have used to do something perhaps better? But look at what COVID has shown us, that money does not matter. Your mansion, your private jet, what matters only your health. is your health. Mm -hmm. Because when you lose money, you lose something. All right. But when you lose your health, you lose everything. Very important. So, money is definitely not as important as health. However, money is necessary to be able to improve the quality of health. Let's talk about what the individuals can do. I'm sure that there are certain things that we as people can do for ourselves to extend our life expectancy. 
let's take the focus away from the government for a minute. What are some of the things that we must bear in mind, some of the habits that we must create and the ones that we must let go to extend our life expectancy? Can I, uh, now let me come a little further to this. Okay. I must admit at this juncture, we are not like a dying government because we are all government. Mm -hmm. It's the same mentality anybody they, we have carried from 2003 days. So it's not a function of which in power right now. Yeah. It is a function of mentality. But in addition to that, I must tell this time that our fathers of medicine also contributed to what we are seeing today. Why do I say so? Our uh, fathers of medicine started medical science as a fraternity. Fraternity not for evil people, but for monopoly. So what they did is that they coded medical terms in a such a way that the common man will not be able to access it. Mm. That's why if, if you meet a doctor and you have malaria, instead of doctor telling you you have malaria, we tell you you have plasmodiasis. Did you know that the longest word in dictionary, a 45 letter word, is a disease? It is called limono ultra microscopic leukoneovocaniosis. Now, tell me when you tell somebody that that is your problem. Wow. At that point, you will realize that COVID 19 has an option of quarantine and isolation. The person we feel is already gone. You feel it's over. So, <laughs> So that's exactly what makes medical information not accessible. So you get to see a doctor, finish with a doctor, ask the person, what did the doctor say? He will say, did I know? He was not blowing grammar. That's why our people become victims of all these quackeries. Now, when they can't understand, they will go to church or you go to one spiritual house, they will tell you a problem is spiritual. If you go to hospital, even you will die. So many people are living in the bondage of such fear and that mentality that their problem is, their medical problem is a spiritual problem. That's why it's unfortunate that today we hardly have cancer survivors in Nigeria. Because by the time they have problem, they already have a mindset somebody may be responsible. They move from drinking one thing or the other. Before they will be present in the hospital, it's already over. So we say, oh, come on, let's move the person to India, move to UK, move to US, have the privilege to be part of all those things. When cancer has metastasized in the body, that's literally anybody could do. Mm. But did you know that today most cancers are not just only preventable, they are curable as it were. All these pro, uh, prostate cancer, uh, cervical cancer, uh, uh, intestinal cancer, but these things have to be gotten as early as possible. So, mm -hmm. But our people don't have that opportunity. So that's why we are carrying on the campaign to be able to reach out to the people now in their own language. If they get to understand this, in their language, they will be able to do something as quickly as possible to leave what would have been the name of the people then on the board. So what are some of the things that you tell them as you're reaching out to them in their own language? What are some of the messages that you're trying you to give them? Yes. We are actually not uh, the, the world. We are looking at medicine as a whole. Medical challenges people pass through. Mm. Being able to decode them. You know, we had a program in one of the communities called the Greta, and we are able to teach these people, look, if you have um, hypertension, diabetes, these are the, some of the symptoms you may have. After teaching them in their language, they used to have a lot of stroke cases. People say that when they born with stroke and all that. Did you know that years after, they were able to record no case of stroke because if you are right in the community and you complain of headache, an old woman will tell you, have you gone to check your BP? Mm -hmm. If you are urinating it more frequently, an old woman, an old man will say, oh boy, go check your sugar. Mm -hmm. And all that, it saves a lot of lives. In addition to other health-related issues, which our people are completely 
ignorant of what they are passing through because nobody has been able to lay that information in a way they will understand. Mm. You know, look at what is happening everywhere. People are falling and dying. People are falling and dying. Crisis upon crisis everywhere. Mm. The acting uh, MD of um, NDDC had crisis recently. People say, no, he was coming It became a joke. Social media and all that. Not up to 48 hours. Our president, very special aid to him, through the, the, the country into morning. When did the cardiac arrest? See the thought of all in the course of this cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. Nobody got to know about it. So that is what we are coming up to be able to teach people that a lot of people have heart related problems. Heart attack, there's a difference between heart attack, heart failure, and cardiac arrest. They are not saying. And what can lead to this one that is a negative situation? Do you understand me? So that is fundamentally what we are looking at, making people to get to know this and act when it is necessary. Hmm. Interesting. I had a program with Kanoa for uh, recently. You remember that in 1996, Kanoa made everybody in Nigeria happy? Not too long, they discovered that he has a valvular problem mm -hmm. and they were able to intervene. That young man living today, several weeks, uh, almost two decades after, or more than that, he has been able to help a number of things through the foundation and order. While in our own case, if somebody has such a case, the person is gone. Mm. It's completely gone. The young man in natural world will go out in the field. And a lot of these things, some of these things can be prevented. You know, so that's why we are coming up to say, hey, every Nigerian can get the ECG done. We are working to partner with a number of people to get it across board. Okay. If we pick those heart problems early, we can save millions of lives in this country. Mm. Now, uh, it's good that, uh, like you said, your agency has come out to, to uh, push for this movement, seeing the fact that it is a, a, an issue of national concern. And you made uh, some statements earlier that we pay more attention to what we eat than to our health. Now, a lot of Nigerians would say, uh, now, if I no chop, I go die now. So why I no go focus on waiting, I go feel put inside the belly, other than looking for um, drugs to buy. And... Sometimes it's even um, like a joke. Someone will tell you he's not feeling fine, and the next remedy you will tell him is, "Shay, have, have, have you eaten today? Maybe you are hungry. That's why you feel this way." So um, it isn't. This is a narrative that we've grown to live with. A kind of ideology that we've grown to live with in a country like this. Now, um, and, and one way that we know that if you can, if you want to change a person, you go into their minds. How can we? point out and pointly say that, okay, we can affect the minds of Nigerians when it comes to things like this or narratives like this that we're used to. How can we change them? Of course, it is, it, 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 yeah, the, the change we begin with what we're already doing right now. Hmm. I'm already changing something in you. You should admit it. Yeah, so totally. Like said. Totally. Because if, if we get to make people understand the cause of this very problem, mm -hmm. the possible solutions available for this problem, early intervention. Now, we're not talking about the food or whether people should eat. Yes, eating food and eating healthy is part of healthy, is part of life and also part of healthy living. But be that as it may, we are looking at people coming to the consciousness that. We have cars, most of us drive the latest cars in the world, mm -hmm. and every 5,000 uh, 5, kilometers, the car will tell you, you're going to service me. Mm -hmm. Willing the people go to service it. Yes. But to our health, people will all be aging, not thinking anything about how do I look. You know, aging without going for health care is like driving a car without that door. Hmm. Anything can go wrong anytime. Somebody says, it's not my portion. I reject this one. How could you reject it? You are getting older. You are not the same look. You are not having the same look 10 years ago. Yes. So 
When we bring this heavy message we are carrying on in a number of communities, in a number of organizations and all that, and we also developing the paramedics, we train them to know how to handle emergency. When we put this in a course, over the time, before 2025, watch it, I want you to trust it that you can have faith in something. By the year 2025, it will be a completely new story for this country when it has to do with that case. I have a software company in America. And I develop what is called Dr. Fede Life. It's a medical app. This very medical app will be able to make everyone have a medical doctor right in his pocket. Mm -hmm. When there is an emergency, you can see what to do. You have an health care, you can get a link, you can follow the system and know exactly where this is coming from. Even the issue of the drugs we take, you can be able to know whether the drug you are taking is fake or real. This God has been able to put this together in technology that will make it available. I'm going to show that the receive as free for all Nigerians, all mm. African countries will pay fifty percent, while Europe and America will pay full amount. You know, hopefully when this COVID is over, we'll be able to launch it down to Nigeria. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Richard. Uh, uh, you, you've really shed some light on a lot of the things that we need to do. And my takeaway from today's conversation is the fact that as often as we take our cars to go and service them, we must take our bodies for service and we must pay attention to our bodies so that our bodies do not end up failing us at the end of the day. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. How can people get more information about the work that you and your organization do? Maybe on uh, your, can you give us like a social media or an email or a number that people can reach out uh, to your organization? Like you said, you're working with uh, numerous partners on this project. So if you're still open uh, for partnership or how can people can reach your organization via social media, we would like for you to share this information. Yeah, for sure. It is not a, it is not a thing that we could just do alone. Mm. It's, it's a teamwork. If we be able to pass this to someone and someone to his family and his family to community, we can build a healthy society. So we have uh, our, uh, our social media handle is Dr. Save a Life. Dr. Save a Life. D R Save a Life. Save a Life. Okay. We have a lot of things we also try to educate people through that. We also have um, a number of media like your station here. Mm -hmm. We also run a program uh, here also. We, we, you can, we can reach out in, in terms of any contribution or okay. aside from 80 370 08150. All right. Thank you very much, uh, the, the doctor, for this conversation. I believe that as we've started this uh, project, a lot of Nigerians will see the need to focus on their health a lot and set a budget aside for your health. Uh, the way you set money for house rent, set money for food, money for the, set money for your health every now and then. Thank you very much for this conversation, doctor. And uh, we'll definitely get to have you back some other time in the future to talk about uh, some other things. Uh, thank you very much for your time. All right, guys, uh, we had that so it was a very, very necessary uh, conversation because, like, like you said, we hardly pay our attention to our health. It's when it don't happen. It's, oh, yeah, wrong, 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 wrong. It don't happen, no. I don't go, doctor. Go, go, see. But, like he said, if you drive a car, you need to take your car for service, and the car will tell you.